How do you sue Spirit Savior? Uh, very quickly. Uh, it really depends on what class you are, Faz. But you do it fast. <laughs> it's getting late. I'm sorry. My kiss master hero. Ooh la la. As a buccaneer, um, you basically you use your fifth job skill, the dash. You use that one a lot. Uh, you can use your dash directionally out of the jumpers. Um, okay, so quick rundown. Let's go. Quick rundown. Spirit Savior rundown. Let's go. Here we go. Spirit Savior. We have. Uh. We have. Ooh la la. We have. Ooh la la. We have. Uh. Whoop. We have. Uh. Whoop. We have. Do 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 do. Ooh. Mm. Like this. We have. We have. We have. We have. What the? Dude, obviously I just want to flip the thing that I have selected. Are you? Okay. Can I flip this and only this? Yeah, like that. Why doesn't this do anything? Are you gonna make me draw the whole thing? Okay, cool. Here, here I think thinking a, a editing program might actually be able to edit things. Okay, are we just, are we doing this? Okay, cool. Uh. Uh. Uh, rope into uh, uh, into uh, uh. Well, oh, this kind of goes like this, I guess. Like that. Um, and then there's a platform here. There's a smiley face here, I guess. Um, and then a wall up here, and then there's a dude up here. Okay, this is, spir this is Spirit Savior, okay? Super important. It's basically also a dude doing like, if you kind of see it, it's like, um, before you go into Spirit Saber, very important. On the top right of your map, there is the world map, okay? If you just have your, um, your map shown as completely zoomed out, okay? No, completely zoomed in, hang on, minus, completely maximized, like plus, plus, plus all the way. There's a there's the name world in there, okay? You hover your mouse over the D in world. Hover over the D, very easy to remember, okay? And then you use like auto click and NPC chat and whatever to talk to the spirit, keep your mouse there. As soon as you go in, you have to click, okay? To expand your world map. Otherwise, your mini map is not gonna look like this, but it's gonna look like, um, like, like this or something. You're only gonna see this part. And you're not going to see all of it. And since the spirits can spawn everywhere, you want to maximize it so you'll be able to see everywhere. Um, you start right here. This is where you start. The thing you have is you have jumping pads, okay? These things are green as fuck, okay? You have a jumping pad right here. You have one 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 right there. One right here. One right here. No, right there. Sorry. One right there. And one right there. So the jumping pads have like directions they shoot you in, but it's not 100% sure where you will land. So 
in general, this pad sends you flying off there. This pad sends you flying off there. This one sends you to here. This one sends you to here. This one sends you there. Okay. This one sends you there. Wait, I deleted this one. And this one sends you here. And this one sends you here. However, it kind of depends on what you do with your arrow keys. If you hold your care, if you jump on it, facing the right side, you hold your arrow key, you will land here. If you jump and you face the left side, you don't hold your arrow key. It's possible that you go like this and end up there. So you can, you have some way of manipulating how you get there. Also, if you have a teleport, you could, for example, jump up and then maybe get here and then like use a teleport down like as a Kana and boom, you know, you could get there. You're a, um, a uh, you're a buccaneer. So let's say, okay, hypothetical scenario. Number one, we, there's always four spirits. Okay. So let's say you spawn here and you have sp sp one spirit here, one spirit there, one spirit there and one spirit there because you know how the jumping platforms work and you know your mobility as a um as a buccaneer the best thing i would say would be here to go to the left side what's going to happen as soon as you kill one spirit there's going to be like the npc chat available over it you press npc chat you grab the spirit as soon as you kill it the poison spirit comes around boo hoo hoo spooky 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 poison poison spirit He's over here. He's angry, okay? He's angry, angry poison spirit. He starts very small, very slow. The more spirits you kill, the bigger he gets and the faster he gets. But the more spirits you have with you, the more points every spirit is until eventually you have five, that's the biggest number, and you wanna end right here. Once you jump in here, your home base, you basically hand in the spirits, you get your points, and the poison um, the poison dude also resets, and you can start over. He resets to zero, not to one, but to zero. So, like, so let's say this is the this this is where the spirits are, right? So first thing I would do is take this jumper. Um, take this jumper. You will fly about here. And then you can choose two things. If you have limited mobility, you can either grab the rope, you'll probably grab it around here and then climb up. Or if you're a buccaneer, you could go until about this point and then use your dash up, the diagonal dash, your fifth job skill. Kill this dude, and then this guy will spawn. And then you jump off of this part. As you do this, a new spirit will spawn somewhere. Probably either here, 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 anywhere that is not where he, you just were and anywhere where there isn't already one. So there's a very high likelihood that it's somewhere on the other side of the map where you're already gonna be going. Once you kill this one, the spirit stops a little bit, he transforms and then starts chasing you a little bit bigger, a little bit faster. What you could do to give yourself maximum time on the other side is wait for him to get closer to you here on this side until he's about like right here. And then you take the jumper and you jump all the way over. You keep holding your arrow to the right key, you jump all the way over. Let's say the next spirit that got red was this one. You could take this one. That's a dream. You take this one, you take number three. The spirit by that time will be about here. He transforms again, gets faster. You jump over this bridge here. You get to this point, you kill this one. By the time the spirit is like right here, he's at stage four, he's getting pretty fast. What you could do at this point, wait, there's extra, extra platforms here actually. Um, there's another platform here. And there, I think. Or the platforms are like bigger. No, there's a platform. There's definitely a platform here and there. Um, but it's not to scale, obviously. It's not 100% to scale. Um, and basically what you can do is kill this guy here. And you're gonna be using the down jump where you down jump here onto this platform. And then um, either use your blue dash. You could also use your blue dash because that will dash you like like through this platform and you won't have to lose time over down jumping. And then you just drop yourself down. You got to down jump through this as well. 
take this dude and then jump like hell into there. And by that time, the spirit will be making this route all the way over here because he's trying to get to where you are and you can outsmart him. That would be the pathing given the hypothetical. So basically, you're going to have to just play around with where do the jumpers take you? Holding the arrow key does what exactly? What can I get away with? How far is my dash? How quickly can I kill the spirits? Because if you need two hits or three hits, you're considerably slower of getting around the map because the spirit is going to have more time to catch up to you. If you're doing one one hit uh, grab move, one hit grab move, the spirit is like, ooh, ooh, ooh. He's like playing catch up the whole time and he'll be like stuck in like a very small circle. But if you take a lot of time, the spirit is going to traverse a lot of area as well and his pathing is going to change as a result. So it's going to be a bit of a hit or miss, but you're going to have to learn what your mobility for your character does, how well you can uh, kill and all of that, basically. You kill them with one hit from Lord of the Deep. Okay, that's actually even better because that means you don't have to physically attack. You can just focus on the NPC chat and picking them up. So that will give you a big speed advantage. But remember, the speed advantage can be a negative thing as well. Like, let's say you get to this guy and you already kill this guy and the spirit is still like hanging here and you're jumping over. That means the spirit is going to be like, yo, hello. So maybe you'll have to, you know, you got to make sure because the faster you are, doesn't necessarily mean 100% better and easier because the pathing of the spirit will be different. So make sure you factor that into how you move. Sometimes by going too fast, you actually move into the spirit's path and that becomes a negative. What did I walk into? Spirit Savior Guide? Basically, yeah. Wait, you can't clearly see that with Spirit Savior? So it'll be trial and error the first few days? Pretty much, yeah. Like, after like the first week, you'll probably pretty solidly know where to go, what doesn't make sense. But even then, you can watch like someone else who's playing the same class in a video and see how they do it and be like, oh shit, you can get away with that? Like, some people will have figured out some more risk you can take or a, a certain pathing that's way more viable. Um, yeah. But, you know, it depends on how much. Uh, typically, in the beginning, you just try to go for 10k clears and you just do uh, like 10k score. You do that three times and you're done. Once you can skip the first time, and by the time you've gotten better at it, I try to go for 15k clears. You just 15k clear the first time. Uh, you just fail the second one with zero, you just go out again, and then you auto-clear the last one for the other 15 points, so you end up at 30 again. And then once you get to the point where you can auto-clear the last two, when you have all of your symbols, all of your dailies done, you just do a 10k clear again, and then just auto-complete the second and the third one. Um, just so you have to get the minimal amount of points while still capping for the day. You level up the next tier with a mule? Oh yeah, I, I'm going to, yeah. I didn't yet, because I'm not logged in right now, but I did on my... Uh, I definitely have the points for sure. I mean, my Demon Avenger is kind of m like my mule point at this, uh, my point mule <laughs> at this point, because uh, I don't really have that much I want to buy with my Demon Avenger from the store. Maybe like the experience node stone, but that's like about it. Why should you be doing 20k each? Like never. If you want to get the achievement, you can do that later, but um, you don't have to do 20k each. Like at most you're ever going to do 15k runs. Um, it's possible that you get a shitty run, that maybe you're lagging a lot, or maybe, you know, something weird fucking happens. One thing that happens that's very shitty is the down jumps. Down jumps can be very fucked. Remember, like you have the arcs. If you're gonna down jump, always do it at like the upper part, never on the sides, because there's like extra branches, there's extra invisible layers, um, and you can get, it can get very scuffed. Also try to not go to the middle and hand in the middle, through the top and going down through the top because that slows you down a lot like the down jumping try to co come in like from from the top of from the side of the top and like dive down diagonally or like straight down and then do like a side jump um coming in wait i have the picture why don't i just show you so i would say never um never come down like from here and do like down jump into down jump into down jump oh shit there's wait there's two more pla fuck there's there's two more platforms, actually. God damn. There's so many platforms in this. There's two more platforms um, here, here, and here. There we go. Um, and, and this one is a little smaller, but whatever. Um, 
like never do like the down jump and then go like here, 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 here. But what I would do is like use this jumper and then do um, like down jump into this and then walk off the side and you'll actually fall off here because it's, it's not completely to scale. And then once you're past this point, you just side jump, uh, like you just flash jump in there or from the other side, you know, vice versa. Or also if you need to get this one as the last one, for example, um, you know, you're, you're going from this jumper there, you just jump over, jump, jump, kill that one and then do it on this side, like down jump here, the platform will be underneath. It's not drawn accurately right now. And then you just walk off the side and then flash jump here and then fall in here and then be done. Um, it's faster and it doesn't slow you down as much. Um, yeah, you, you just have to wait until you get past the platform though. You don't want to accidentally hit the jumper and then get get like drawn into all of that again. Because the down jumping here is not perfect. It's It can get you stuck sometimes. What you're going to have to do is hold like the side arrow key and the down arrow key and the jump at the same time. If you just do down and jump, there's a good chance you do the down jump animation, but you stay on the platform. And then you're like, wait, what the fuck happened? And then boom, spirit catches you. One more thing I didn't mention um, is that you have a bar of shield. Wow. Every time you kill a spirit, a little blue ball uh, spawns. Whee! And no matter what you do, these things will always fucking hit you, okay? On average, all of the blue balls that are flying around in one run of uh, Spirit Savior combined will hit you for about 50% of your shield. A little bit less, sometimes a little bit more, but about 50% is going to get killed by the blue balls in your shield. If the spirit hits you and catches you when you have five spirits, that is also 50% of your bar. So if in the beginning you get caught one time with a five by a spirit, there is a very good chance that you're gonna time out because of your shield rather than because of how much time you have. Because you have, what is it, like three minutes? I think? That is not a three, holy, that is the ugliest three. That is not much better, but. Um, this is the ugliest E I've ever drawn in my life. What the fuck? Fix it. Fix it. Oh God, he's making it worse. Chat, stop him. He's making it worse. Is that a little bit better? Oh God, freehand with a mouse and fucking paint. Okay. So be very careful. If you get caught by a big spirit once, it's gonna take a huge chunk out. And the passive damage just from the blue balls is about going to be half of your shield. So keep that in mind. All right, 